second Sunday of Advent, we uh, remember or we reflect on the ministry of the prophets, both in the Old Testament or in the New Testament. Now, there are two or more names for prophets in the Old Testament. The first one uh, is translated as seer, and it indicates uh, the special ability of the prophet to see the spiritual realm and see future events, also from dreams and visions. This title suggests that the prophet is not deceived by a sterner appearance of things. They saw things as was revealed to them by God. And the second name of a prophet in the Old Testament is Nabi. Uh, Nabi means to prophesy or to communicate many words from the mind of God by his spirit. And Nabi, therefore, is a spokesperson of God who spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Now, Luke's narrative moves uh, nearly 20 years on uh, Tiberia. Caesar is now an emperor, and Herod the Great is a king, but his kingdom has been divided into smaller states called Tetrarchs. John has become a prophet in the New Testament, of course. He came to prepare the way, preaches and baptizes by the river, Jordan. He is preparing the hearts the mind of the Jewish people to receive the Messiah. He plunges into the river Jordan those who want to repent of their old life and start afresh. John warns of great judgment about to befall Israel. God's own people have become like a disease a fruitless tree fit only to be cut down. John sees his hearers as snakes or vipers trying to escape a stubble fire. He proclaims that they must change their ways. It is no longer enough to claim Jewish descent because God will judge people by their actual deeds, not by their race or religion. A holy calling, therefore, as Christians, must be proved by a holy life. John came as a prophet, a spiritual giant, but he dismisses any idea that he is the Messiah. For the coming Christ will be infinitely greater than he. He will baptize with fire and Holy Spirit. And because of his ministry, John confronts the sin of Herod Antipas about his affair with his sister-in-law. The couple are committing adultery having both deserted their partners. What did Herod do? Well, Herod's response was to arrest John, having him put in prison on the east coast of the Dead Sea. John preaches against sin by proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom of heaven. And the word preached here is translated to evangelize. John introduces Jesus as the Lamb of God and points people to trust in Him. John rejoices at the opportunity of introducing people to Jesus Christ, the Savior, and then got out of the way so that these people 
may have a real encounter with Jesus. John the Baptist came to prepare the way for two reasons. One, for Jesus Christ as the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And two, for people to encounter Jesus as they face and offer themselves to Jesus by confessing their sins. Therefore, during this Advent, look at ways in which you can be prophetic in your calling as a Christian by calling people to repentance or sins and introducing them to meet Jesus. And if this is hard for you as a Christian, then I will encourage you to examine your own relationship with Jesus Christ. 